Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is Verilog code and test bench for 16 by 4 RAM. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Ayandi Pune. So moving towards the today's topic, that is 16 by 4 RAM Verilog code. So what is RAM? RAM stands for Random Access Memory, and here we'll be implementing 16 by 4 RAM, meaning of that we will be having 16 memory location inside each memory location will be able to store 4 bit of 4 bit data and that's why what are the inputs available to that particular block so as we need to store the data so we should be knowing the address of that particular location and that's why this address is mentioned which is of 4 bit why that is of 4 bit because if we are having 16 location here we are able to see as we are having 16 location to address that 16 location we require 4 bit of data that is uh, address that is 0000, 0, 0, 0 that is 0th location, 0, 0, 0, 0001 that is first location, same way 1111 that is 50th location, and that's why 0 to 15 that are the total 16 location we are having, and this address is of 4 bit. Now, inside each location will be able to store 4 bit data, and that's why here data in you will be putting 0, 0, 0010, 0, whatever data you will be putting that will be of 4 bit. Now, as we are putting 4 bit data, definitely output will be of 4 bit, and that's why data out is again a 4 bit. For operation, we'll be considering clock, and there is a write underscore enable pin, which is the single bit, which will be indicating that we'll be able to write in the data. We are going to write the data or we are going to read the data because this is a random access memory. So we'll be able to write the data or we'll be able to read the data. So if this is one write underscore enable will be able to write the data whatever data we are having uh, over here uh, on data underscore in and whatever the address is selected in that location data will be stored if write underscore enable is one and if it is zero it will be reading the data so that in the coming uh, ppt we will be understanding uh, how we are going to write the code so here you are able to see the code of RAM. So where the module RAM is created, RAM, and this is the end of the module. Now we are ha having clock as an input. We are having write underscore enable as an input that is of single bit. We are having address as I told you. It's it is having 16 memory locations. So we need to give address is of 4 bit, and that's why input 3 is to 0, which is the address. Data will be storing that is the 4 bit data in each location and that's why you, you, are, you have to write input 3 is to 0 data in. If you are storing 8 bit data just change over here in the data in and data out it is 7 is to 0. If you want to uh, have the memory location up to 8 only 0 to 7 so you require only 3 um, that is 3 bit address that is 0 is to 2 or 2 is to 0 that way. So that modification you can do as per the uh, memory you want to implement. Now once that has been done out is rich because we are going to write a code in behavioral modeling style and in behavioral modeling style if you are writing output you need to mention at a, as a rig. So that's why rage is mentioned. Now after this has been done bracket completes uh, semicolon you need to define how we have created a memory. So 16 location and inside 16 location you will be storing 4 bit of data and that's why rage that is the data type. What is the name given to that particular block that is the RAM underscore block that is the name given. After that how many bit data you will be storing that is the 4 bit and that's why here whatever you are writing at the start. So it is a 4 bit data indicating how many bit data you are storing. And at the end, you are writing how many memory location that is the depth of the RAM, and that is 0 is to 15, that is total 16 location you are having that is mentioned over here. So, according to RAM, you are implementing how many bit uh, you will be storing and how many locations you will be having. Just you need to modify this as per your requirement. So, hope that part is clear. Now, you need to write a code for RAM. So, always act, we are going to write using the behavioral modeling style posage clock whenever the positive edge of clock has been given what you need to check you need to check whether write uh, underscore enable is 1 or 0 depending upon you will be writing or reading the data and uh, according to that you need to put address as well as the data value over there so same we will be writing over here so at the posage clock that is the positive edge of clock you will be checking if write underscore enable is 1 or 0 
if that is one you will be storing the data in that particular address and that's why you need to provide address also as well as data so ram underscore block which is you have created over here address whatever the address you have mentioned suppose 1000 that is the address mentioned means it is 8 so at 8th memory location you will be putting which data that is the data in so here whatever data you want to put so give you can give it so that that particular data will be stored in that ram block of particular address so if i am taking 8th memory location that is 1000 and i am taking data also as a 8 so in 8th memory location that 8 will be stored okay using the simulation waveform i'll be explaining that again in the coming uh, ppts else if this write underscore enable is zero then what will be uh, the functionality of that particular ram so you need to just read the data if that write underscore enable is zero meaning of that instead of writing i now want to read the data and that's why how to read the data from particular memory location i want to read the data and that data should be coming at the output and that's why the ram underscore block of address whatever you have mentioned suppose 8 is mentioned 1000 so whatever data you are having at that particular memory location will be coming out on data out so this is what is the data out again it will be of 4 bit because you have your data is of data in is of 8 bit 4 bit so it will be of 4 bit so that's why whatever the data present at that particular address will be uh, you'll be getting at data out and because if you have started if you need to end with this end or we can say how sorry uh, that is the beginning and that's why end and this is the end model okay so this is what is the ram code for 16 by 4 now over here you are able to see this waveform so as i told you clock is there so clock you are able to see this is what is the right underscore enable which is 1 for particular uh, period and 0 for particular period after that if you want to write the data so write enable is 1 you have to give the address and at that particular address how much data you need to store that what uh, data you need to store that is given over here so in test bench you need to write this part, uh, properly so that's why on the 10th memory location we are storing 10 and as we we are not going to read out anything so that's why cross cross is coming because at this moment we are performing writing function now when this particular write underscore enable is zero what is happening whatever the memory location address you have given over here the data out present inside that location will be coming at the data out so over here as you have mentioned 10 at memory location 10 1010 data is 1010 and that's why at the reading uh, time this 1010 is mentioned so data present on that location or in that location is 1010 and that's why you are able to see that 1010 on data outline same way over here that is at eighth location you are having sorry uh, ninth location you are having nine 8th location you are having 8 stored and 7th location you are having 7, uh, seven uh, that is the data present. So hope that particular waveform is also clear. Now we will be seeing how to write a test bench. So over here uh, it is mentioned that 1010 we are storing 1010 if you need to change this um, particular notation if you want to uh, mention that is binary octal uh, decimal so you can change it just by applying this so whenever you are getting simulation waveform right click on whatever the variable you want uh, to change the format so right click over there you will be getting that particular radix over there and by default you have kept something now i want instead of 1010 over here i want the data to be explained or uh, uh, shown in hexadecimal format so i have clicked hexadecimal and that's why you are able to see over here data is present in the form of hexadecimal value okay so that is the 